So we're here at VITU in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Richard Lee from Huawei, who's the new chairman of the Network 2030 Focus Group. Richard, welcome, and thank you very much indeed for joining us here today. Really honored. I'm very happy to be here. So could you please explain to our viewers what exactly is meant by Network 2030? Okay. Network 2030 is a tech study of technologies for the networks in the year 2030 and beyond. In the last 20 years, web-based applications, multimedia, and apps on our cell smartphones are dominating our networking industry. In the next 10 years, 5G will become a reality. The market will be driven by enhanced mobile broadband, massive machine-type communications, and up to reliable and low-latency communications. Every wireless generation takes about 10 years. If we design a transport network for 5G, we had better design it for a lifespan going over 5G. On the other hand, 5G is not the end of the story. Technology and industry does not stop here. We have to move forward. We have to look ahead. We need to know what will happen after the year 2030. So what will be the marketing drivers after the year 2030? What are the new use cases? What are new requirements? What are the architectures? What should we do about it? Are there any technical gaps? So Network 2030 will answer all of these questions. And what are some of the technologies that will be studied and investigated in this new focus group? Actually, Network 2030 is not restricted to any particular technology. And we will take a look at um, multiplexing, new type of multiplexing. And we will also explore new type of switching, new type of routing. And if needed, we will explore new definitions of IP and even TCP. And so Network 2030 will bring up some new concepts, new architectures, maybe new protocols and new solutions. Regardless, we will make sure Network 2030 will be fully backward compatible, supporting both the existing and the future and new applications. Mm. So we're in the year 2018, and we're only just begin beginning to see 5G deployments in uh, different uh, urban environments. Um, what's actually the difference between 5G and Network 2030? So and there are quite some differences, and 5G, and uh, we already see some like deploy new deployments here. 5G mainly takes care of like, enhanced the mobile broadband, massive machine type of communications, and uh, ultra reliable and uh, low latency communications. Then so that's that age will start probably from now to the year 2030. So network 2030 will look. Beyond that, it will look at new media, new services, and uh, new architectures. New media such as holograms, and uh, will, be, will be a new generation from AR, VR. And uh, hologram, holographic type of communications will have a big part to play in industry, agriculture, education, entertainment, and uh, many other fields. So it will specify some requirements, for example, in order to support it, in order to support holograms, the network needed to support a very high throughput in the range of terabit per second. Speaking of new services, the current internet is essentially best effort. It may support diff serve, track engineering, but some new applications will need some high precision services so and, uh, in Network 2030, we will make sure the network will support latency guaranteed services and throughput guaranteed services. And uh, if needed, we will also explore some like new um, technologies, for example, rail switched networks, uh, new IP, and uh, 
preferred path routing, new type of switching, and uh, even holographic teleport. Mm -hmm. so, so these are all quite uh, futuristic topics, if you will. Uh, are there any other research groups or conferences or forums or uh, knowledge bases that are uh, getting together and discussing this topic already? Uh, yes, um, actually ITUT is not alone in doing this research, but uh, I'm really happy to see that ITUT is the first to clearly set up a focus group dedicated to the Network 2030. And uh, so I believe Network 2030 will be a new horizon for the future digital society. And so in other organizations, I already saw some activities on future networks and the next generation networks. For example, in SC Next Generation Protocols, or NGP, it investigates some aspects of next generation protocols and next generation uh, networks. So it, it shares some like uh, working topics with Network 2030. In ACM SICOM, it has a workshop called NEAT, N-E-A-T, that's for new and emerging applications and uh, technology. NEED 2018 will take place jointly with ACM SICOM uh, this year, in August of this year, in Budapest, Hungary. In, it covers some aspects of Network 2030. In IEEE, it also has a workshop called HIPNET, H-I-P-N-E-T, that's for High Precision Network. HIPNET will take place in November of this year in Italy. It also covers some aspects of Network 2030. So Network 2030 as a focus group in ITU is not alone in doing this research. Okay, Richard, well, I'd like to thank you very much indeed for your time and wish you the best of luck and success with your focus group. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you.